Hello Internet, welcome to G-Theory, where we shamelessly steal the intro lines from a much more popular YouTuber. Today we're going to be talking about how strong the Star Saber would really be in real life. For everyone who doesn't know what the Star Saber is, it is from a show called Transformers Prime. It can also be found in our model, but we're actually going to be taking a look at Transformers Prime. And it's shown that Optimus has retrieved the Star Saber because he's a Prime and it was felt by a rock. Now the Star Saber is seen to slice rocks, boulders, and even pierce through metal. The Star Saber can only be wielded by a Prime to unlock its full powers, but anyone can use it, but it will just be really, really heavy. Now online, there's not really a true answer on how much force would, it, would be able to cut a mountain in half, because I don't think anyone has ever tried, but it is stated that it would require 20,000 million tons of TNT to destroy Mount Everest. Now, to be fair, this is this is not Mount Everest size, but it does give you an extreme scale on what the Star Saber do, just casually splitting that thing in half, just yoink and then destroy, done, gone for. But there is another matter to discuss. We can also see the Star Saber piercing a Cybertronian. Now, Cybertronian is stated in Bayburst movies, which which I know is not a part of the aligned continuity, but we're going to be just taking a look at that because this is the only source of what Cybertronians are made out of. They say that Cybertronians are made out of Cy Transformium, and they don't really give us a true scale on how strong Transformium is. All they say is Transformium is strong and heat resistant, so that doesn't really give us much to work with. So we're going to go with the strongest metal that we know, which is Tungsten. I'm sure you've all seen the Tungsten Cube videos where they absolutely smash things into in, just crumbles, in just absolute destruction. The, the way the microwave crumbles, the TV gets destroyed, everything demolished. Imagine that as a human being wearing that constantly. Like, that it's part of their skin. Imagine that. Imagine trying to use a sword to pierce through that. That's what the Star Saber is. And quite literally, the only way to cut tungsten is using a diamond edge blade. Saw. A blade saw. Circular saw. And they have to do that insanely, just slow and smooth. Make sure it doesn't break the fact the Star Saber just punches it. Like it's nothing! And you might be wondering, that is simply just the energy that the Star Saber produces to absolutely destroy mountains. Now you would be correct if we didn't have the final season of Bumblebee absolutely piercing Megatron in the chest without any prime abilities, because of course he isn't a prime. But because of its extreme heaviness, which also relates to Tungsten, extremely heavy, so it must be at least denser than Tungsten, at least. Not without even the energy, he just stabbed them like it's nothing, like it's a blade to flesh, like it's steel to flesh. It's it's transforming into some godly metal that we do not know of. So now that we know the blade is at least stronger than tungsten, the, the one of the strongest natural metals that we know of, that means it has to be stronger than tungsten. I don't know what alloy or what it got, but tungsten is extremely dense. So whatever mysterious godly alloy or natural metal that they have on Cybertron that they can just sparely use, just use in any day, shape or form, without, with ease, with ease bro, has to be at least stronger to withstand 142,000 PSI. So my estimate for piercing a tungsten or some sort of metal alloy that the Cybertronians are made out of is at least I have to give a this this is probably down bullying it but at least 500,000 psi at least the fact that it can just yoink itself inside and th this is not to mention the dark star saber which broke the, the the star saber which shattered it shattered it 
That's a whole nother theory on how strong the Dark Star Saber is. But just to give comparison now, it shattered the Star Saber. So do with that information what you will, because that is made out of pure energon. Pure dark energon. So it seems like energon is extremely dense as well. Extremely tough. It's an incredible crystal. Probably stronger than any other crystal that we've ever known. Probably stronger than diamond has to be, because that's the only thing that can cut tungsten. So yeah, these are some godly weapons, and Megatron was right we when saying they were gods. So we bring the power of the cosmos. We don't exactly know how strong the Star Saber is, but we know it's a lot stronger than any other metal that we know of. So do with that what you will. Hope you guys enjoyed this theory. See you in the next one. Good luck. And goodbye. And make sure the Star Saber never exists in real life. <laughs>